हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू योर फेवरेट फोटोग्राफर अक्षय ये है एंड वेलकम टू द बेसिक फोटोग्राफी सीरीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज मीटरिंग इन योर कैमरा एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज इट टू टेक प्रॉपरली एक्सपोज पिक्चर्स In the exposure triangle video I have talked about how you can control the exposure of the photos using aperture shutter speed and ISO but how would you know what is the correct exposure before taking the picture that's where the camera's exposure meter or light meter comes into play if you haven't watched my exposure triangle video I will put the link of the video in the description below you can go and check it out let's come back to the metering of the camera you can see the meter here in the view finder or on the screen as well Typically the range is from minus 3 to plus 3. When you change the settings in the camera to take a photo, your camera's light meter measures the light in the scene and determines the exposure. If the exposure meter of the camera goes towards the minus sign, that means the picture is going to be underexposed. And if it goes towards the plus sign, that means the picture is going to be overexposed. But remember, camera's meter is not always right. Depending on the kind of picture that you want to take, If you want to take a picture which is slightly brighter or if you want to take a picture which is slightly darker the camera meter is going to tell you the picture is going to be overexposed or underexposed this light meter is just a tool for you to understand the exposure but as an artist it is totally up to you if you want to follow it or not there are several different metering modes to choose from in your camera depending on the shooting situation let's take a closer look at the three of the most common ones the first one is evaluative or matrix this is the standard setting in most of the cameras and photographers keep it this way most of the time this mode takes into account the entire scene and evaluates the brightness levels in different parts of the frame the camera then uses this information to calculate the best exposure for the shot You can use this metering mode if you don't want to give a lot of thought about metering. The next one is center weighted metering. This mode places a lot of emphasis on the center of the frame. The exposure is calculated based on this area and it completely ignores the corners of the frame. You can use this mode if you shoot a lot of centered composition like portraits. The third one is spot metering. This metering mode measures the light in a small very specific areas generally around the focus point you can use this mode in a very contrasty situation like if you want to take pictures of the moon and you want to keep the moon properly exposed so there you have it the light meter and the light metering modes in your camera i also mentor people if you want to learn photography personally from me you can send me an email i will put the email address in the description below you can follow us on instagram the handle is on the screen and you can also follow me on my personal instagram the handle is again on the screen if you found this video helpful do give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to ray photography i will see you guys in the next one the next one is center metered weathering weathering